everyone and welcome to September's Zodiac Tarot Readings. I had so much fun last month doing readings for you because for every Zodiac sign I used a different deck and for some of those decks it was the very first time that I had looked at them or I had used them at all. So we're outside my backyard right now and there's mosquitoes and flies and locusts singing in the trees. I don't know if you can hear that but it sounds really lovely. Anyway, um, this month we're going to do something really different again uh, I'm going to be drawing five cards for each zodiac sign the first four cards are going to be from this deck and this is a standard deck of playing cards other than the fact that they are oversized this is a regular deck of playing cards so the first four cards that I draw for you to read from will be these cards and um, yes it is possible to do divination with a regular set of playing cards the thing is that without the major arcana you miss out on on the grand scheme picture of things which I love so the fifth card that I draw for each of you will be a major arcana card chosen from this deck. This is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. So I'm going to sift out the major arcana and I will have them laying to the side and when I get done reading the four regular playing cards I will choose a major arcana from this deck and we will round out your reading that way. As usual, these are very general readings um, going out to the energy of the zodiac signs. If you would like a personal reading with me attuned to you to specific issues in your life, you will have to go to my tarot website, the tarot parlor at, at tarot readings with amethystrain.blogspot.com. I give readings in a variety of ways through a phone readings, email, Skype, webcam. Um, and audio. Audio is one of my favorite ways of doing readings. It's also the least expensive reading at my site. It's a very fast way to get out a very uniquely personal reading. Um, and it just seems to be very effective. People seem to really like this one. And I offer uh, several tarot spreads now that you can choose from that I do in audio format. So with that said, let's get on to September's Zodiac Tarot Readings. Hello Scorpio and welcome to September's readings. Um, I'm going to get us just a little bit of incense going here and, and think about um, the month of September, the energies that will be coming up for you. This is the deck I'm going to use, the regular deck of playing cards for the first four cards, which if you're coming right off the intro, um, you know what's going to go on here, you know the game plan. When I'm all done with the four cards from this deck, we will um, pick a major arcana from the Gilded Tarot and see how your reading is going to be rounded out. So that's going to be interesting. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to shuffle this up, see what cards are coming. Three and, oh, this one popped out. This card wants to be picked, so we're going to pick that fourth card. See, what is that? I'll lay these out here now so you can get a good view of what's coming up. And we are going to take off Scorpio with card number one. Nine of spades. The nine of coins. This is a card of of contentment, of happiness, and a feeling of, of satisfaction that you find in being where you are at, at this point in life, at this point in time. Um, this is a, a card of wonderful self-satisfaction, of a healthy ego. Um, for some of you Scorpios um, who have struggled through different things in your life, you finally have come to um, a wonderful point of self-acceptance and self-love and um, and a real acknowledgement within yourself and knowing at this moment that you have what you have. So often have you noticed that positive points in our life kind of 
rush past and we're not aware of them at the time. We think about them later and then we can appreciate them in retrospect. This card usually comes up when you are aware of what you have, where you are, right now, at this moment, at the time you have it. So you can appreciate something in the moment, which is really special and, and it doesn't always happen in life. As I said, life is moving very fast for a lot of us and sometimes everything we look back on, it's always in retrospection. So enjoy this, enjoy this positive energy. This, it's very grounded, um, it's very healthy. And, and it's very inspiring, actually. So we're going to go on to card number two. Ten of Clubs. Um, this has been following a lot of my um, zodiac signs around this month. It doesn't go away. Um, it's a card of responsibilities and burdens. And that's good. You've got, you've got all of this powerful energy over here. You have all of this... Um, self-confidence. You can deal with what's coming up. You can deal with your day-to-day -day, um, responsibilities. You can deal with new burdens that maybe haven't shown themselves yet, that may be on the horizon. You, you can do it. Um, there's a lot of responsibility out there and um, that, like I said, this has just been coming up for so many of my, my signs. I just want to um, just See what other energy I can pull from this card. If there's anything else in here that's pivotal. Hmm. For some of you, Scorpio, the responsibility and the burdens that I see in this card aren't for you personally, but for someone you are close to, someone around you. And you're going to be able to use some of this energy, this positivity, um, your, your financial success in some instances to, to help this individual um, to deal with a new burden, um, responsibilities, to deal with um, things coming up in their life that are going to require action, going to require um, vigilance, going to require responsibility. So some of this energy is folding over into here. So, so um, you Scorpios are going to have an abundance of self-confidence, self-assuredness to pass on to someone around you and someone close to you who will need um, a little bit of this boost. You're going to be boosting it. Let's go on to card number three. King of Diamonds. Um, energy. Oh, it's... It's so eloquent um, that the energy for September is so eloquent. There's going to be things said that maybe have not been said, maybe never said, that need to be said. Um, there's going to be new com connections made through communication. There's going to be new pathways opened. Um, September is going to be a very eloquent month for Scorpio. There's messages that need to be passed on. Um, important messages. Um, and I don't feel that it's just about the physical world or business. There's other important messages that just need to be passed on. There's reassurances that need to be, be given. There's affirmations that need to be made. Um, for some of you, as an individual, this character in your life, um, he's very blustery. He's very opinionated. Just remember that he also has a soft spot. He also um, is easily wounded. He puts on more bravado. Sometimes this king, the more um, vulnerable he feels, the more out of control he feels. If he doesn't feel he has control over his what's going on in his life and he and he feels a little bit out of control or he feels hurt or he feels slighted or he feels... Um, Oh, I can't think of the word I want right now, but the more that he feels that way negatively, the more blustery and loud and self-confident he will portray himself. So just remember behind every big, loud, in-your-face person, there is a soft spot behind them too. And sometimes they either protect that soft spot by their outward, blustery, um, overbearing behavior. And, and, and oftentimes, this individual is a very private individual, so they don't want people to see that weak spot back there. So if you have an individual in your life like that, um, just kind of 
I don't know how you're going to get behind it, but know that know that when he's he's like in your face and all over the place that he's not as self-confident as he appears to be. I just want to see what other energy I'm going to pull from this card. For some of you Scorpios, this king is going to be the reason or the individual behind the new responsibilities and the new um, uh, burdens in life coming up, things to be dealt with. And for others of you, he may actually be the key to, to handling this, to uh, lightening this load. He may be, his energy may be what's needed um, to lighten your burdens. And some of this may have to do with the communication and the messages and those things that need to be said. Something needs to be said um, for some of you Scorpios, either, and I'm feeling a relationship or a familial atmosphere more than a work-related. Something needs to be said that will lighten a burden, lighten a load. And, and once those words are said, um, you're going to feel a tremendous weight lifting off your shoulders. And you're going to wonder, why didn't I tell this person this so long ago? Why didn't I say this earlier? I don't know why we hesitate to express ourselves. I don't know why we hesitate to, um, to say what's on our mind or say what we, what we possibly know in our heart should be said. And yet we still hesitate. Maybe we're afraid of the consequences. Maybe we're afraid of the fallout. Maybe we, we, we're afraid of the reaction that will, will come from it, but it's going to lighten the load in this case. And you're going to be very happy that this, this is opened up and dealt with. Last card here, nine of clubs. Again, there's a feeling of being on the defensive, and I feel it's this, this character right here as an individual, and it's also an energy in your life. Um, uh, for some of you, within your uh, familial circumstances, within relationship circumstances, right now there's a feeling of having to be on guard, and once, once things are laid out on the table and words are spoken and and thoughts and motives um, and plans are made clear, um, there, will, there will come a time, a cessation of this feeling that you must always be on guard. But right now, with this king between here, I'm getting, that's the energy I'm getting. And maybe it's this individual who feels... Who, who, sometimes people around us, when we don't say what needs to be said, even if we don't say it, some people are empathic enough to pick up, pick up our, our feelings. And someone around you may realize that um, you are not feeling um, the way you appear outwardly or that there's something you want to say and they're not sure what and they're not sure, you know, they may not be perceptive, perceptive enough to figure out what this is, what's bothering you, what needs to be said, what needs to be cleared up. So they're always on the defensive because they're not sure. I just wanna look at these cards for a minute. From coming out of this place and coming up here, um, it's gonna to have to be cleared up. This is gonna to have to be cleared up so that you can come back here to this very positive, very um, centered, very self-confident energy. Don't lose this. Don't lose this feeling over here. Take care of this and, and deal with this individual or deal with this energy. If this is an energy in your life right now, um, surrounding circumstances, um, deal with this in order to maintain um, your own sense of well-being. So with that said for Scorpio, we're going to go on and I'm going to draw a card for you from the Gilded Tarot. So I've had um, really remarkable readings from this deck of playing cards, actually. And I'm curious to see where is Scorpio's energy going to go? What is the, the big picture here? What are we... What do we need to see to round this reading out? So there's your card. And it is the Fool. Um, starting out on new journeys. Um, 
when you take care of all of this and you deal with what needs to be dealt with and you lighten someone's burdens by finally speaking your mind and laying things out on the table and when there's finally clear communication where there needs to be, where there maybe hasn't been for a long time, then you can start out on a new journey. Then you will start and on a new path. You will open a new road. You will give your life new possibilities. And um, it's with a positive energy that you start forward. It's a lightening of the load, a lightening of spirits. And I think that's where I'm going to end this reading for Scorpio.